Hello. If you've clicked on this, you've clicked on Frankie's DIY and more. This is where I just take stuff that I've already got or something I found at a thrift store and I just add to it or I just reconstruct it a little bit or just whatever needs to be done. And now I do wear these clothes after I fix them so it's not just me putting stuff together and then going to the next thing. It's stuff that fits me. Uh, and I like to do it and uh, I'm putting it out here and showing it to you. And like I say, everybody don't like everything but uh, this is what I do. Uh, I hope you like it. If you do, subscribe. Uh, when I say subscribe, I used to think that meant you had to buy something. I don't know. I'm just old school. But anyway, that just means that if I do something else that you'll be notified that, that I've done something. So I do stuff every now and then and just on the whim. So I don't do it regularly, which when I retire, I, I plan on doing that. But uh, this is my craft room and this is where you've landed, so thank you for watching. Um, I got a shirt right here. It's a, it's a nice shirt. It come out of my husband's closet. I think he was cleaning it out and trying to make room for him some new clothes. He, but I think it's a still I think it's a, a good shirt. So what I've done is I cut the hem of it off, but I tapered it to the front so it'd be shorter in the front, longer in the back. And um, I also cut the sleeves off right there, and um, i got to figure out what I'm going to do with those. But what I am going to do is take this material right here, and I've already got it even up here and got my little clamps holding it. And I am going to cut, um, I don't know how much that is, I'm going to cut it right about here. I'm not much of a measurer, but that's as far as I'm going to cut it. Then I might run it through my uh, serger, ruffle it up, and then I'm going to attach it to the bottom of my shirt. So, uh, let me get myself out and I'm going to cut it and I'll be right back. Okay, I've already cut it. So, now I've got this piece right here. And then I'm going to run it through, uh, fix, that, fix that raw edge right there. And then we'll see how to get it on the shirt. All right, let's see this, get it through here. Give that going to give a nice little um, edge to that right there, so it won't so it won't fray out. I think since I've already got this cut off and it's already um, in line, I I'm going to go ahead and put some clips back on this in case I want to get me another piece later on. It'll already be lined up, and all I'll have to do is just. Cut it off so let me get that done and then i'll pin it around my shirt i think what i'm going to do is go ahead and give my uh hem the bottom of my shirt a serge it rather and that way it'll give it like a finish whoops give it a finished look so i'm gonna do that and then i go all the way around it and my camera's shaking and uh after I finish this, then we'll start putting the ruffle on. Okay, and we're done with that. Well, I'm fixing to go around the uh, sleeves, and then we'll start. Well, I was going to try to show you the shirt before. Before I put the ruffle on, uh, because I said I tapered it in the front, and I don't know if you can see that, but because it's because it's a black shirt, but it's way shorter in the front. So I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. Well, maybe not. There you go. Anyway, uh, that's the way the shirt looks before before I add the ruffle on. Well, what am I going to do? Is just put this. Uh, I think, 
Okay, I think I might just try to follow that surgeon line all the way down and just do it that way. And I think I can pinch pleat it as we go. I'll back stitch and just give it a little pinch. Well, I said I'm going to give it a little pinch. This stuff wants to crawl. Hmm. I might have to come up with something else. Well, let me pinch plenty right here. Okay. Looks like it's going to be a slow go here. Let me, uh, let me work on it and I'll get back with you. Okay, so that didn't work out. So what I'm going to have to do is go down through here and just pleat it first and then put it on. I guess I could run, you know, this thread through there and pull it, but I don't know. I think I just finished going down through here and pinch pleating it like that. And then I think I'll just run it through my surgeon machine instead of trying to top stitch it on. So I think that would, I think that's going to work too. Okay, we're at the end of it. So I have pinch pleated it all the way down. And that was a little long process here. But I'm at the end of it now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to take it to my surgeon machine and I'm just going to, since it's already pleated now, and I will serge it, put face to face on the bottom of my shirt and I'm going to serge it on and I think that'll work just fine. There's a lot of it. Well, what I've done is uh, I went ahead and uh, clipped it to the bottom of my shirt uh, and I've got it all the way around and now I'm fixing to run it through my serger and I think it'll be just fine. All right, I think we're finally ready to get it through here. It's not been as easy as I thought it would be, but no, it's okay. I'm just going to run this all the way around and taking the pins out as I go. All right, let me finish this up and I'll be right back. We're at the end of it. We've gotten all the way around. I don't sell my finger. All right. Now. Well, I tried my shirt on. And what I'm going to do is add this to the bottom of my sleeve. Right here. Oh, it's going to be a shock. Okay, right there. So I'm wanting to put this around. So I'll measure it around and I'll do it times two because it's got to go around the back. So um, when I tried it on, the sleeve, this part right here, the zebra part, was way down here. So what I'm going to have to do is cut my sleeves off again. So I surged them too soon. So I'm just going to have to surge off what I just did. I mean, cut off what I just did and uh, make them a little shorter so when that I put this on it'll hit me right about here I mean right here I don't want it down past my fingers so um, let me get that let me get that done okay, if I can find my cutter let's see oh, I just want a little bit off Sure, I get it straight. So I'm just gonna cut that much off right there. I'll get that, and I think that will be just fine. Just look like it is. And then where's my cutter? Mm. I'm losing my stuff on the table. All right, there it is. Mm. I think I got it. I'm gonna have to get another blade. Okay, I think that'll be enough right there that when I 
put that on there, it'll hit me right about there. So let me get that, let me get that pinned on. I've got my two pieces. I measured them and then I've sewed them together so it's in a circle right there. And so now I'm going to put these on my sleeves. I'm going to match, I'm going to match the, um, the seams together right here. And I'm going to sew all the way around and when I do, it'll be right like that. And then I'll press it out so it'll lay flat. So let me, let me get this pinned on and surged up. We'll see what we got. All right, I've got them. I got them kept on, and I'm fixing to take it to the serger and uh, zip around that, and I'll be right back. I tried this on, and uh, I thought these were just way too big at the bottom. They were like down to here, and earlier I had said that my this is my husband's shirt. It fit me. In the shoulders and stuff but I forgot I had already taken this shirt up I should have known he's way bigger than me I mean he's not big but bigger than me for a shirt for a man's shirt but anyway um, from here to here it's just way too big with the sleeves and everything so I'm gonna take it up I already measured it and of course my measuring is like a thumb so I'm gonna start right here where my thumb was at and just taper it off but a little trick though is uh, I don't have any of that um, Taylor um, chalk stuff that they use but I really will tell you that just you know the bars of soaps that you get in hotels and stuff work, ju work just fine so um, right there okay so um, anyway I thought that's a good pretty good little tip in case you don't get um, the well, I can't think what it is Taylor's chalk, I guess that's what you call it. But anyway, I'm just going to run me a line right through here of how much I want to take it up. And so I'll go back to my machine and I will just... See, that makes a good line. So <clears throat> don't waste your money on that Taylor stuff. All you got to do is just use these from... You get them free at the, at the when you go places. But anyway, they last forever. I've got, I've got lots of them. Or just any soap that you got. Make sure it's white. Let me take that up on both sides. And uh, I'll try it again. Well, I finally, finally done it. Got it all the way around. Got my sleeves on. And now I'm going to give this a press at the bottom. So it's a lay flat. Because, you know, when I sewed it from this side to this side. Oh, there you go. See if you, see if you can see. And then there's my seam. So it wants to pucker a little bit. So I'm going to give it a press all the way around and let it lay down. And I'll try it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, I finally finished it. I had to go back and cut these sleeves a little bit more because they was too long, too big. But anyway, I've got it on. It had a pocket on here, and um, I thought about removing it, but I just took me a little of the extra I had, and just made me a little, I don't know what it is, just something there. Uh, anyway, I, I can take it out if I don't like it, but here it is. There it is. Here's the back. I don't know if you can see it. I'm short. Oh, there you go. Anyway. I like it when it's short in, the, short in the front and long in the back. Uh, back in the day, I used to tuck everything in, and uh, I'm older now, and I can't tuck stuff in. I have to tuck it around this belly here. So I like it long in the back so people don't see the caboose and a little shorter in the front, but definitely not tucking it in. Anyway, I've got it together, and here it is, and I hope you like it. And remember, everybody don't like everything everybody does, but that's what makes the world interesting. If we was all the same, wouldn't it be boring? Okay, off for now.